This afternoon, a big groundbreaking ceremony in Detroit for a new $14 million construction project. This is for Chandler Park Field House. It's on the city's east side. Chandler Park is the city's fourth largest park at 200 acres. And today's event is a culmination of years of community input and planning. It just started. Let's go ahead and listen in now. So he can provide um, some remarks to us and what this means um, for the city to provide this with our ARPA dollars. All right. All right. Well, good afternoon. Uh, today is a day that the children of Detroit get the kind of facility that suburban kids have had uh, for a long time. Uh, I was a soccer dad. I had four kids, grew up playing sports. But from November to March, it was very cold outside, and your recreational opportunities were limited, maybe a basketball court and a rec center. And about 25 years ago, in Wixom, this group called Total built this bubble, this soccer dome. And everybody said, what is that? We hadn't seen anything like it. And they started off with small soccer fields inside. Then they realized people were looking for all kinds of activities, and they took down the walls. They added in field hockey. They added in volleyball. Uh, they had baseball teams practicing in there. They added in dance. They added in band. Uh, and the Total Dome became a recreation mecca from November to March. Families with, came from 25 miles around and enjoyed that experience. And I watched over the years as multi-sports domes opened in Western Wayne and other parts of Oakland and in Macomb. And I thought, when are the children of Detroit going to get that kind of a facility? Uh, and in Detroit, They've been closed in rec centers for a long time. We started opening them about five or six years ago, and Brad Dick had this idea uh, that we were going to do one of these domes. I said, I want one of these for Detroiters, and the idea was to do it at Jane Park over near Hamtramck. We hadn't figured out how to pay for it. And then we had the good fortune that Joe Biden and the American Rescue Plan uh, provided this city and a lot of other cities money to do things that they wanted but couldn't afford. And with the leadership of council that allocated a large portion of this to recreation centers, we said, we're going to build a $15 million dome. And then council member Letitia Johnson says, but we don't have any indoor rec centers in District 4. Uh, what are you talking about, Jade Park? Uh, and then we started to look at Chandler Park, which... I have a long history with Maggie DeSantis, I don't know how many years ago, started the Chandler Park Conservancy and started pitching this. And we rebuilt the park, got the new football field uh, 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 turf. Uh, the Wilson Foundation put in new tennis courts. When I was at the county, I passed a parks millage. We built a, uh, in, a, the, swimming, uh, the swimming pool center which has become one of the most popular outdoor play places in the summer and we said if we're going to put this facility somewhere where better to put it than in Chandler Park where the community supports us the conservancy where the park is coming back uh, and we're going to have a place here where I know we're talking today about volleyball and soccer and lacrosse I, I'm going to tell you you're going to watch it more from the coming years to become a family center that in the times like right now when nobody's really thinking about sports other than the Lions, uh, uh, they're going to say, let's go up to the Chandler Park Dome uh, where the activities are. Uh, and so I want to say thank you to everybody here uh, who's helped make it possible. How many people here are from the Chandler Park Conservancy? Uh, the work that you have done is amazing. I got to tell you, when they started out, there was nobody helping Chandler Park. Uh, they were the advocates that turned the momentum around, and I've been just thrilled uh, to support them. But I'll tell you who their biggest champion is. Their biggest champion is your city council person, Letitia Johnson. Let's welcome her. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, and thank you so much for that, Mr. Mayor. And we know how much phenomenal work the Chandler Park Conservancy has been doing in this space. And we're just elated to partner with you all to have this come online. Um, I certainly want to thank President Joe Biden for the American Rescue Plan Act funding. Um, as many of you know, 
this recreational center will be the first in District 4 that is a full-fledged recreational center that will provide um, a variety of sporting activities, not only for our young people, but also for our seniors. Uh, if you look at one of the um, photos here, you'll see the indoor track. There are so many of our seniors that have said, we need a place to walk indoors. We need somewhere to run. Uh, my chief of staff said, where's the, the weight room inside so that when I take my grandson, I can also be there lifting weights, right? So we wanted to ensure that this was a space for everyone throughout District 4. Uh, there are multi-purpose rooms for the community to convene as well. And so we are appreciative of the conversations that we've had to make sure that this is an all-inclusive recreational center for our residents throughout the district. And it could not be a better location because it is centrally located so all of our residents have access to it and so that is extremely important for me just to make sure that our residents can live work and play in the district um, and do it in a way where they're close to home we don't have to send our children to the suburbs um, that we have a top-notch facility here in the district that's providing um, for all of our residents. Um, and so we know recreational activity, I'm going to try not to speak too long, but it's there are a tremendous number of benefits to having recreational facilities in our in our communities. There are health benefits. Uh, they provide spaces for physical activity, uh, promoting health and fitness, and we all know that the COVID-19 heavily impacted Detroit residents, and that is the reason that the American Rescue Plan Act dollars came to us. So this is an opportunity to make sure that we work with our residents and keep them healthy so that we don't have things that just continue to uh, perpetuate negatively on our health. Uh, we know the social benefits. I've always said that one thing that we really wanted in our district was somewhere to go and see other residents, to see our young people so that we could engage with them, so we can get to know them more intimately and understand what it is that they were looking for and what they needed from us as community leaders, as elected officials, and those that are really just trying to wrap our arms around our young people. Um, we know the economic benefits. Um, we know that property values have been increasing in the city of Detroit, and this amenity will help to further that. Uh, and so there are a number of tremendous benefits. We believe that this will help to reduce crime in our neighborhood as well, because we have a space for our young people to go and be productive. And so I am ecstatic to stand here uh, with the mayor, um, appreciative of my colleagues, and just looking forward to this day and the day that we actually have the ribbon cutting. So thank you all so much. Thank you, Councilmember Johnson. Thank you, Mayor. And I want to echo their sentiments in thanking um, President Biden for the funding to make this um, dream a reality for this area. Um, I know that soccer has been big over here, and I, with this facility, we'll have the opportunity to do some indoor soccer, you know, during the colder months when we do our fall programming. So with that, I want to bring up Shay Lewis. Shay is our athletic director. We brought her on a few years ago, and she has exponentially grown our soccer program. With so much so, she's been charged to grow it even more in this next coming year. So with that being said, I want to bring up Shay from our athletics. Uh, thank you for having me. It's great to be here as someone who was born on the east side. Um, it's, it's just an honor to be a part of this process, an honor to serve this community, um, and an honor to be here in this moment. Um, our soccer program started with about 275 kids um, when I started as the director of athletics here um, in 2019. We've grown it to over 3,500 participants uh, playing in our soccer in the D-League. Um, and we're going to continue to expand that with the facility of our own that we can do um, indoor soccer leagues and run year-round programming. So we're ex super excited about that. Um, but not only soccer, but also our non-traditional sports, our lacrosse, our volleyball, pickleball, um, 
tennis and golf and even handball that our families have been asking for more of. So this is an opportunity for us to do um, that year-round indoor programming. As we know, it gets cold in the D. So um, I'm just excited to be a part of it. And again, everyone's kind of touched on it already about how important this is for our youth, the things that sports provide for our youth, um, the character building, the teamwork, um, to be able to um, educate themselves about a healthy lifestyle, making friends, um, hard work, the commitment, all those things that come along with playing sports. Um, and, and again, to our seniors to be able to have that safe um, space that they can um, exercise and work out, be able to walk around the indoor track and to be able to have access to programs where they don't have to worry about the outside elements. So it's great times. It's, it's really excited, exciting times for uh, the city of Detroit um, and for this community. And, and this is important for, for the youth, for our senior and, and the people of this community. So I'm, I'm just happy to be a part. Thank you guys for having me. Thank you, Shay. Thank you. Thank you for all you've done. And so I um, I feel like in District 4, you guys should feel pretty blessed. How often is it that we are doing new construction, right? So we have the community center at AB4, and now we're bre breaking ground on the Chandler Dome. And I know one person that's probably more excited than me, the mayor and council member put together, is <laughs> Alex Allen of the Chandler Park Conservancy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is very exciting. I'm Alex Allen, President and CEO of the Chandler Park Conservancy. Real quick here, we have board members. I got Maggie DeSantis. I see David Greenwood. I see Steve Ogden in back there. I see Joel Kelman. I see, uh, I think I saw J.J. Velez, who's a past board member. I see uh, the person here doing the video, uh, Yvette Bass. Hope I didn't miss anybody. But this is an exciting time, Mr. Mayor. Council person, council member, I want to thank you on behalf of the Chantler Park Conservancy. People need to know that this this dome here, we wrote it down years ago. It was a, it was a part of our master plan. I see Ariana. Ariana, Mr. Mayor, you didn't know Ariana's down there, that person right there. She's our liaison between Chantler Park and the city, GSD. We love partnering with the city, and she is the link. All right? She is the link. On behalf of uh, the Chapter Park community, and we have a lot of residents here today, they helped to design this. So you guys say hi. You so they know who you are. <laughs> so they're a part. We always do things with community here, but on behalf of the Chapter Park Conservancy, I just want to say thank you to you. Thank you to the councilwoman. Thank you to GSD. And we're really looking forward to partnering with you all in the future to make this a great place. Not just a rec center for recreation, but a community center where people can come together to do a a lot of great things in the city. Thank you very much. Thank you, Alex. Thank you. And like Alex said, this would not be possible without the community, um, especially Ariana. We're holding the community meetings, getting the feedback from the community and the community input. And so with that being said, I want to bring up Donald Phillips. <laughs> I want to make sure the name was right. <laughs> Phillips. I'm sorry. <laughs> I want to bring up Donald Phillips to give us some remarks and perspective from the community aspect. Thank you. Hello, everybody. First of all, I'm so excited because I'm a native Detroiter, born on the east side in District 3. And all of you know, if you're a Detroiter, you love Detroit if you're a real Detroiter. Because y'all know what we're about. Maggie in the audience, she's one of my heroes that taught me how to do community service. Well, I'm, I'm just so honored that they asked me to be here as a community person. I grew up on the east side in District 3, moved over here, Chandler Park, Lowick, for over 25 years. My great councilwoman, Johnson, been knowing her for years because she's been doing great work before she was on the council. The Honorable Mayor, he doesn't know I was part of DMC when he was part of that. And I know him personally from that. And I appreciate the work that he's doing and working with our city council because they need our input. They cannot do more than they can do until we, as citizens and residents, talk to them engage them and let them know what the community wants. I wear a couple of hats today because I'm part of my brother's great program, REACH. We operate at six, uh, over there on 7 Mile and John I, 62 West 7 Mile. We run a, a, a program, a sports program. Sports save lives. We came up in the neighborhood, they said, why the Phillip boys, there's five of y'all, ain't, ain't in crime, ain't doing it. First of all, we had great parents. 
And second of all, we had great grandparents that we lived with their name. But sports, we was playing sports. I wanted to be Dave Bean, number 21. People don't know he came out of Washington, but he came to Detroit. And he was one of the greatest basketball players ever. And he inspired us as well. And he also taught us about loving our community, giving back. And Alex, the Department of Neighborhoods, our Councilwoman Johnson, our mayor, and all the other city council, and you, those in this audience, I know why you're here. You people who do stuff every day for this community. You don't have to worry about the spotlight. We need this facility. We need more. We got to get active, and we got to continue to work with the mayor and our city council people and let them know what we want, because Detroit is a great city. Our neighborhood saved me. I, I just got to testify. I'm a Baptist deacon. And I don't know if y'all remember Mother Dorothy Simpson, who ran Simpson's Record Shop over there on Six Mile and Joseph Campo. It's like a second mother to me. Y'all probably know her son more, Donnie, because he was famous. But Mama Simpson taught us in that neighborhood that you run a business not to make money, but to make a difference into your community. And if the Detroit historian was here today, we can ask him to tell us great stories about District 4 and what came out of this great neighborhood. So this great facility adds to what we need because we don't know we might have another ice man coming out of this facility like George Gervin. We don't know, but sports saves people, helps our young people. And all of us together support what they're doing in District 4, support this great facility, and let's continue to do the great work. And I just thank Alex, because I've known Alex for a long time when he was at Skillman. And it's so great to see great men doing great things in our community, because we don't get the publicity that we need doing good. But this is a great facility. Let's get behind Alex and everybody that's involved in whatever they need, and let's continue to keep our arms around our children in our Detroit neighborhoods. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Phillips. Thank you. I appreciate that. And so that brings our um, groundbreaking ceremony to, conclu to a conclusion. Um, as you see, we've already started the work. You can hear, you see the fencing up. That's the area. You hear the trucks and everything in the background. Um, I don't think we're putting shovels in the ground today because of the weather. <laughs> but, but I do thank you guys. I thank everyone for coming out and braving the cold and bundling in this tent. I appreciate that. And just before we go, I do want to acknowledge Deputy Mayor uh, Todd Bettison, thank you for coming out with us for this joyous occasion. Thank you.